So I wanted to be a nurse my whole life and it's just always been something that I wanted to do. And then uh, my husband joined the military and I thought I could just continue on and get my schooling and I didn't realize how difficult that was going to be. He's a UH-60 pilot, so a Black Hawk pilot for the Army. But aviation moves around a lot. He started out in Oklahoma and then we went to Alabama together and then South Korea and then Washington State and now here at Fort Belvoir. Between moving every two to three years, it's made it pretty much impossible to obtain my degree. I've had to restart now my career three times. My girls are my biggest cheerleaders. Every time I get a grade, mom, what'd you get on your test? Oh, you did so good, I'm so proud of you. And it's just, you know, even today I get a text message, mom, I'm so proud of you on my way into school today from my 10 year old. It's hard because I have five kids at home, but it's also very rewarding because I have five cheerleaders at home. We're a team and that's how we function as our family and that's the only way we would survive. The scholarship's been a huge blessing to my life. As I've had to retake all of these classes, there's been an extremely amount of fees. It's been a huge burden on our family, and so with Dominion Energy coming in and taking that burden off of us has been a huge blessing to our lives. But I've known that I've always wanted to be a nurse just because I love working with people. When people are hurting, they're always the most vulnerable and need the most help. I just want to be that advocate and that person to be able to come in there and help them. I'm hoping to get legislation passed to where essentially no credit gets left behind. Whatever the spouses do in their work, it's a for and it means something they don't have to start over all the time.